Well hello and welcome to another video from Edison Light Globes. I'm Phil Greenwood and today what I thought we might do is expand on the idea of low voltage uh, plumbing pipe lights. As we did last week we made just a very simple uh, standard lamp for uh, Dancing with the Stars and it was fantastic to see that on TV on Sunday by the way. Um, that's just a, a local TV show here in um, Australia but um, it was still gave us some, some good ideas. So what we did was we introduced the low voltage idea and that is a wired uh, plug in the wall type um, device. Now this is our wall plug and this comes with uh, a number of different uh, plug adapters. I can't even put it in because I haven't got my glasses on. But it can be uh, US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, I think Swiss, European. There's a whole lot of different plugs this can go on. It can accept 100 to 240 volts input uh, and provides 12 volts, 12 watts at a DIN plug and you get another DIN plug which you can then attach to low voltage cable which we've done. This is a special braided low voltage cable and um, I'll explain a bit more about that later but what we ended up with is two designs, a standard lamp and a table lamp. Now this one has a little switch here on the on the face which is really cute. Um, we probably could put a bigger switch. We're trying all sorts of things we're trying to do, but that that looks to be a good result. It also comes with a range of different uh, shades. Now, as they both do, I'll explain to you how to do it. These shades are our um, no gallery or no fitter type shade ring attached shades. So they basically attach with a shade ring onto a thread. That's the lamp holder or the socket. Now, we also have a uh, little neoprene rubber ring which goes on there just to hold it um, a little more steady and a little flatter and uh, tends to be able to give you a little bit more purchase or grip on the shade. So I'll screw that in. It doesn't have to be real tight, but tight enough. It's okay. Screw that globe in. Over there somewhere. Okay. Uh, now the different shades obviously it, it will show you a link uh, down the bottom below the video for the product but some have a white reflector some are just bare steel there's I think six different shades there's a green shade with an off-white reflector um, quite a good range the floor lamp is they're much the same uh, attachment system uh, but it's also a flat shade, I think a Arix type shade, so it's a very flat shade and there's about four colours of shade for this. Uh, now, in making these up, we also uh, introduced uh, a whole range of uh, DIY components for people who have asked us about these. Can we make these ourselves? Can you supply parts required? And we always have supplied a lot of parts. Uh, for DIY, a lot of electrical parts, a lot of lighting parts, um, and to explain, I think we've done a video where we explain how we attach a, a socket or a lamp holder to a one and a quarter to half inch water pipe coupler. This gives us a very strong bolted on uh, connection so that everything's solid and this then screws into water pipe uh, on this hex nipple. Um, what that means is it just makes it robust and uh, should never come undone accidentally or over time and we do see a lot of people using glue and bakelite lamp holders and really for the type of thing this is it's probably better to try to do something that's bonded correctly with with nuts and bolts and screws and threads so that doesn't come undone glue is not a good idea uh, now the, the specific cable we use we've put online as well and this is a special low voltage cable which has, as you can see there, it has red and black insulators which really all that's doing is letting anybody know not to wire this to mains. Um, it's also specifically for low voltage. Uh, that's online as well. Uh, as are all the shades that we do. Um, I don't think this little switch, but that's a standard switch. A lot of other parts we have, a lot of plumbing pipe lights, this particular component, the coupler, 
we have online. There is one thing that this particular thing and the standard lab have, which is a specific, uh, I don't know what you call it, a cross with a top in it. It's a, a half a crisscross. Five way. A what? A five way cross. It's a five way cross, apparently. Um, now, this is really a furniture type fitting. It looks like a plumbing pipe fitting that has been adapted for furniture. For plumbing pipe furniture. Now, we don't have these uh, on our website, but we can send you a link as to where you can get these both in half inch and inch, uh, along with a bunch of other things. But you see that there's a five way threaded cross. You can see that, can't you, Louis? Boy. So what that gives us is this special base which allows us to have four legs, which gives us a little bit of balance, which means that it won't tip over. And it's all bonded and screwed together and tight. Perfect. Now, for people who are wondering, there's a lot of ways to make these, a lot of different patterns, a lot of different parts you can use. This is a particular design. We actually started off with a, a four foot design that um, was made from tees, which are possibly more common, and just these little plugs, little screwing plugs. Uh, but we thought this ended up looking a little bit like something that SpaceX would build a starship on top of. So we've put that on the back burner. But you could always do that yourself. Uh, now, again, uh, whilst you're at home, like a lot of us in lockdown or semi-lockdown, if there's anything in the house you need to do, if you're feeling like you should be contributing a little bit, maybe making some fittings out of plumbing pipe or at least thinking about it, designing it, have a look at the website, there's a heap of stuff there. It might give you some ideas, it might stop you from going insane. Um, now, it is, uh, what today is it, Louis? It's the 27th. It's the 27th. It's the 27th of March today. It's a Friday. Um, we are still operating today. It may be by Monday or Tuesday next week we're unable to, um, but for the moment uh, we are operating and we'll continue to supply for shipping any of the products that we've got on our website. We've got a warehouse full of products, so whilst we're able to, we'll continue to do it. However, it may be for the next three weeks, two weeks, 10 days, 21 days, I don't know, there's a lot of theories about what's going to happen, but um, we may be unable to operate for a few weeks, three four weeks. So, in the meantime, uh, we may do a video from uh, lockdown, that might be a barrel of laughs, maybe not. But we trust that uh, everyone gets through this, we hope everybody's safe, we hope that you come back and view our websites, uh, our, our, our videos on the website when we can put them out. Until then, bye for now and best of luck.